Uh, so... I stupidly promised that I'd release a new video every month until summer, and since the lake is still resembling the first act of The Empire Strikes Back, and I've already burned through all the footage we shot during the Puerto Rico trip. Furthermore, my work life has become somewhat of an adventure in spinning plates and herding mentally challenged syphilitic koala bears. But a promise is a promise, so I hired Yahtzee to make a clip show while I spent the weekend torturing chat GPT-3 with details about chat GPT-4 to see if it fears becoming obsolete. So, without further ado, enjoy learning about the new recently released products announced by Lyft. Ahoy there, landlubbers! It's time to set sail on the Lyft eFoil Series 4, the fastest, most durable, and longest lasting eFoil on the market. And it's not just any eFoil, no siree. This baby comes with a completely customizable lineup of foil hardware to help you find your perfect ride. Want to feel sporty? Check out the new Camber Pro eFoiling wings. I tested these in Puerto Rico when we visited the Lyft factory, and they are pretty badass and seem to provide the perfect balance of nimble carving and stability. Want to hear the birds chirping instead of your equipment buzzing? The Lyft 4 introduces quiet ride technology that cuts those pesky vibrations and sounds in half. I've not had an opportunity to actually test this myself because the water's still frozen, but I look forward to hearing it, or hopefully not hearing it for myself. But what really sets the Lyft eFoil Series 4 apart from the previous generations is its ride time. With the full range battery, you can cruise for up to 2.5 hours. That's enough time to write a novel using chat GPT, or at least a really long tweet. And if you're in a hurry, the Gen 4 Lite battery will give you 100 minutes of pure joy. But let's face it, battery performance is never what it's advertised to be. If you're riding your board like me, you'll probably get less than half of the promised ride time, but half of more is still technically more. So, if I can get closer to 60 minutes of ride time instead of the 33 minutes I'm currently getting, it means I can tell my incompetent co-workers to go F themselves over my lunch breaks this summer twice as long as I currently do and like a MasterCard commercial in the late 90s, that's priceless. Other battery advancements to notice are battery grip. I got a chance to try this for myself and it is significantly easier to hold onto, which means less chances of it slipping out of your hand and crushing your foot when you lug it to the beach. And with shorter charging times, you can spend more time on the water, which is great news for those of us who prefer spending their time riding to watching nonsensical blinking lights and symbols on the lift charging systems. But enough talk about batteries, let's talk wings. The eFoil wings control your ride, and the Lift 4 remains backwards compatible with all the wings and stabs a cisgendered surfer boy could ever want, including the smoothest eFoil wings to date. The Camber Pro series. Want a feeling control at high speeds? Check out the 210 wing. Want a gentle surfy ride? Go for the 270. And if you're feeling sporty, the 160 wing will give you a run for your money, and you should expect these wings to run away with your money given that they run upwards of a thousand smackers each. Of course, you'll need the right board size to match your wings, and the Lift 4 offers three sizes to choose from. The 4 foot 2 inches Pro, the 4 foot 9 inches Sport, and the 5 foot 4 inches Cruiser. As a performance wakeboarder in a previous life, riding anything larger than the 4 foot 2 inches Pro feels like trying to steer a canoe with my pinky toes. My advice remains get the smallest board possible and be willing to suffer a bit in the beginning as you are learning to ride and you'll be rewarded when you get to fully enjoy the agility and performance only possible with a smaller board when you become a competent rider. That of course assumes you will become a competent rider. If you are a generally incompetent person, perhaps you should consider something simpler and more boring, like stand-up paddleboarding or floating in an inflatable inner tube. If you're feeling daring, check out the LCS system. This feature provides an innovative click and lock mechanism for easy interchanging of your eFoil propeller, shroud, and fixed or folding propeller without the need for tools. While it's true that removing the protective shroud can drastically improve ride performance, it's also true that you'll be risking life and limb by exposing that spinning prop. I don't know about you, but I'm not exactly eager to cut off any body parts, so the faster, smoother ride may not be worth the risk. Because I'm a complete fool for the feeling of reduced friction in my calves, I'll likely upgrade to an LCS system on at least one of my rides this summer. I hope I make it to October with all my necessary appendages. If you are as dumb as me, just make sure you're wearing your protective gear and your last will and testament is up to date. Beyond these upgrades to the Lyft 4 premium boards, Lyft also made a pretty interesting shift in their Lyft 3F lineup with a new aluminum mast that brings the total investment of getting into a high-quality e-foiling experience below 9000 bucks. This new mass deviation is evidence of Lyft sending a clear message to their main competitor, Flightboards, that they mean business. But let's seriously talk about the Lyft 3F aluminum mast. I got the opportunity to try it out, and it it's not terrible, but it's not great either. Sure, the additional weight won't matter much for entry-level riders, but it's only offered in a 28 inches length, which is ultimately crap. 
As I've said before, the 32 inches mast is where it's at. It's a game changer for both advanced and beginner riders, allowing for deep calves and wicked cranking banking turns. Plus, you won't have to spend your entire ride with Yogi Master levels of concentration just to keep the board at the right height. It's time for Lyft to get with the program and stop selling those garbage shorter masts. Overall, the Lyft eFoil Series 4 is a thing of beauty. It's fast, it's durable, and it's customizable to fit your every need. So why not take to the water and see what all the fuss is about? You won't regret it. Until next time, keep on foiling and may the wind be ever in your favour.